Welcome guys back to Grey Wolf TV. We are continuing with Person of Interest on to episode 16 of season 3. The last episode I really enjoyed it was slightly unusual with the... Well, we don't know who the voice was, but trying to manipulate this um, 911 emergency caller, the woman, into doing exactly what they wanted because they've been paid and using a kid as leverage. But it was, it was an enjoyable episode. I, I really liked it. And I do believe, possibly, that's not the last we've heard whoever that voice is. Because he's not happy that Howell screwed up his plans. But then in the end, because they confessed, he was willing to let it go. There's more coming from that. I'm expecting it. Right, let's carry on, move on, see what happens next. This is episode 16. Somebody help me! I'm locked on to Miss McNabb's position. She's two blocks from you, being pursued north on Avenue D. Where are you? There's no more time. You have to do something. Relax, Finch. I'm here. Your bezeling boss didn't like the idea of you testifying against him in court, so sent this joker to make sure it didn't happen. Mr. Dillinger, didn't he send two hitmen after Ms. McNabb? Yes. You've had a very traumatic experience. You probably shouldn't be on your own Previous right employee. I don't know about Twice. you, Haley, but I could use a drink. The numbers never stop coming, Mr. Dillinger. <laughs> I believe I told you that up front. Guy could use a little R and R once in a while. The next time an attractive woman wants to thank you for saving her life, just say a thanks. Simple, you're welcome should suffice. Yeah. Not sleep with her, which is where you are right now. Who is that? My boss, Daniel Casey, born and raised in Tucson, Arizona. He got into Cal Poly's computer science program, but dropped out a year before graduating. Casey's infiltrated numerous companies over the years. Perhaps he saw something that he wasn't supposed to see. You know, one day you're gonna have to tell me how you get your divine intel. Not a chance. So, how do we find Casey? Hello? Daniel, what the hell did you get yourself into? I came to see you, didn't I? Yeah, some Neanderthal claiming to be an old pal of yours, and he wasn't the only one. About an hour ago, some couple of men and a woman stopped me outside my coffee joint. Mr. Strickland's area of expertise is false documents. Maybe that he's creating a fake identity for Mr. Casey. Casey's trying to hide from someone. <laughs> Though it may not matter. That man is CIA. You might tell me how you know that? It's a long story. But whatever trouble Mr. Casey's gotten into, it involves the United States government and... And don't consider Daniel Casey a citizen. He waived that right when he stole state secrets. There you go. You still want us to take his teeth? I got eyes on Casey, Finch, but your friends from the government have a jump on him. You need to get to Casey before they do, Mr. Dillinger. I'm aware of the stakes, thank you. Fitch, I think it's happening now. <laughs> False alarm. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Ian oh. Banks may be a congressional staffer. If you wanted to report a crime that pertained to national security, SSCI would be one way to go. Our conversation was vague and fast, so Is right that what now he's I doing? I need assurances, okay? But whatever comes out on this, my name isn't anywhere near it. This doesn't feel right. right. He doesn't feel right. When was the SSCI I created? What? The year. Tell me that and we leave together. He's checking. Mr. Casey, this isn't. Forget it. Yeah. None of this feels right. You don't feel right. No. You follow me? I'll make sure you regret it. I thought for a second you were going to make me chase you. Attracting a lot of attention, shouting like that. Oh dear. Who are you? Shit. He had the open of there's two of them. If nothing else. <laughs> He's fast puffing. Well, that got interesting. Why was he meeting with someone he thought was government? Don't know. That guy wasn't government, though. Yo, why don't you start by telling me what you did to piss so many people off? For weeks, I tried breaking into this damn machine. Until Mr. Dillinger, get Mr. Casey off the streets immediately. Now. What's got you spooked all of a sudden? Do what I tell you. Take him to the safest place you can think of and keep him there. No, 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 you can't bring him here. You have to take him somewhere else. Somewhere Mr. and Mrs. Smith can find him? 
people looking for him cannot discover this location. You know, maybe you missed a few beats, but it's a war zone outside. Until now, this job has been nothing but damsels and bankers. Casey has grade A government hitmen after him. Hitmen, you know. Uh, what the hell are we up against here, Harold? You got it, boss. You, uh, you haven't even scratched the surface. You have no idea. So this is the first time it's gotten really serious. Casey has a bodyguard? At this moment, the agency has no intel. Another reason why we should have taken care of this in-house. Our teams are nearly online. CIA kills Casey because they think he's a traitor. If I wasn't in this chair, I'd snap your neck like a twig. No, you wouldn't. Try to warn you, pal. You can't get enough of it. That would sting like a mouth out. <laughs> You seem to know your way around systems pretty well, Mr. Casey. I grew up in Tucson. You gotta do something to pass the time. What's that? What I spent the last two months working on. Oh. And probably why everyone's trying to kill me. Yeah. What can you tell me about the work you were doing for the government? I mean, nothing I threw at it made a dent. So you were unable to find a weakness? Well, not until I found something hidden in the BIOS interface. A back door took me straight into the operating system. It adapted to my hack and locked me out. The code you pulled? Any idea what it was? It's so advanced, it's almost alien. I couldn't shake this feeling that I wasn't testing the system. I was showing the government how to break into it. So, Correct. I told them I was finished. Thanks for the gig. Good evening, Mr. Lambert. I understand you had difficulty in acquiring our prize. That's who CIA he works acted for. more aggressively than we anticipated. CIA did, however, capture one of our operatives. They're no doubt pressing him now as to who we are. Fail me again, and I'll find someone more adequate for the task. I've arranged for a sale on the dark net. You're going to give it to them? No. I have a hunch that the group's concern lies with the laptop and not the man carrying it. If we sell it, they might call off their pursuit of you in favor of finding the code. Took the liberty of creating a new identity myself. Also a clean phone. <laughs> Selling it on the dark web, on a laptop. I sound familiar. Anyone that has contact with this system that you worked on either ends up dead or they lose so much they wish they were. I'm just waiting for the barn where torturing this guy helps us find Casey. It doesn't. I'm just getting started. Give it time. She enjoys this. The way you're threatening him. If I didn't know you any better, I'd say you were about to question orders. Yeah. Now, I don't know what's on this puppy, but I know a lot of people want it. So I lined up a buyer of my own. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that coming. What He's drugged him. You knew I was a shark when you hired me. Yeah. No next surprise when I smell blood in the water. Stop. You son of a bitch. Why don't you do what you do best? Run. That's why you don't hire mercenaries. No, look, turns out I'm gonna need those papers after all. Well, I just got it all in order. Uh, why don't you come by the office? Uh, I'll be here. <laughs> I mean, he said he'd had a few employees prior to Reese that didn't work out too well. No shit. Need it. Gonna get my papers from Lester and disappear. No, it's too dangerous. Please, Mr. Casey. I can still get you out. You've done more than enough. You don't have to do this. What should I do? Daniel Casey's an enemy of the state. What is it they say about great minds? A little slow to the party, fellas. When I'm done, he's official property of the Central Intelligence Agency. Everyone gets what they want. Caught a little grief from the Suicide Squad, so I had to give it right back. Killed most of them. One got away. What about Casey? He's still sucking air or what? Not anymore. I'll dump him in the water and meet you at the car. We should get you out of here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna take the next bus headed to Maine. When you arrive in Caribou, a man will be waiting to drive you into Canada. If he tells me you didn't show up, I'm gonna come looking for you. The boss is gonna need proof of death. A couple of molars should do it. Care to do the honors? Casey didn't have anything else on him. Whatever he stole, it's still out there. Not our problem. Tracked my phone, didn't you? Of course <laughs> you did. What the hell do you want, Harold? You here to stop me or bury me in case this backfires? Can't have anything traced back to you, that it? You have to trust me. Trust you. Mr. Dillinger. I knew you knew what this was. It has something to do with how you get your numbers, doesn't it? If you want to fill me in, now's your chance. You made it this way. 
by keeping me in the dark. I'll kill you. Don't try to follow me. What happened last night? The man we thought to be Casey's bodyguard attempted to sell the laptop to the Chinese. Yeah. Our agent arrived and neutralized him. Yes. <clears throat> so he's gonna kill you. There was, however, a complication. Here we go. One buyer got away with the laptop. <laughs> so the agent failed. That's not how she put it in her debrief. All things considered, I think we can expect great things from her. Didn't anyone ever tell you it isn't safe to be in the park at night? The thing's more trouble than it's worth. The two CIA agents on the Casey job, the ones that let the laptop get away in the first place, send them in to confirm it's the device. <laughs> Daniel Casey, I presume? Right. That's why I've been sent here. <laughs> you. You're gonna need that. Uh, look, you're really pretty and all, but this doesn't make any sense. All you need to understand is you have a higher calling now. How do you know all this? Like wow. I said, we have a mutual friend. And right now, she needs your help. Come on. Just at the point. Well, I think this can't get more complicated and more involved. And there be more working parts to the jigsaw. It does. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. That'll do. <laughs> right. Um, oh my god. I I, I can't, I can't go through all of that. <laughs> I knew the minute Harold mentioned, I'm going to try and sell it on the dark web. And I saw that laptop. It, I suppose you should have triggered him before then, but that confirmed it. That that was the laptop that we were dealing with that ended up in China, that ended up with them two, with Reese and her being collateral damage and to destroy the damn things so the whole thing is all interconnected and that guy was an idiot i mean he's a mercenary mercenaries have got at one thing following normally following orders following something through to a resolution and getting paid the most amount of money and he, he just didn't see how old for what he was, even though it, we know he doesn't give much away and he's not prepared to and he's not going to prepare to be explained. But he would never purposely get you killed. You did that all by yourself. I thought it was just Howard that had ended up making the, the laptop being sold to the Chinese and it ending up over there. But no, it was him because he wouldn't bloody listen because he was stubborn. And it was, let's face it, 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 even before this, when we saw at the beginning of the episode with the, with the damsel, with the girl he was um, rescuing, that's, that's not the way to do it. And it shows that Howell had already got a, a substantial amount of already, um, on Reese. He already knew who he was, and then he's been party to witness exactly what he did there with him. Apart from a couple of molars, of course. And then, lo and behold, Root walks through the frigging door. I said, I did say, two or three episodes ago, we've not seen Root for a bit. What's going on? There she is. So now they're off to Colombia? Which is obviously what Machine's telling her she needs to do, and that she needs him with her, because... Their mutual friend is the machine. They don't mean Harold, they mean the machine. She means the machine. So this lad did actually get in. And I'm presuming when Howard was looking at it, he said, I'm just modifying a few lines of code. Was that... Was that to make it worthless? Was that to lock it out? Well, I don't know. No idea. 
but that that episode has just stepped it up another notch damn all oh, right um I'm, I'm not gonna go delve into it in too much detail or this video will be too long but this season three honestly it's just it constantly keeps surprising you you've got constantly got to keep thinking of you, what you can't do with this is there's the odd occasion where you just get like a one-off episode in this season that's not too much to do with the main storyline it's kind of like the x-files with that and then the next minute you get an episode like that you cannot miss an episode out with this you'd be lost can you imagine if when these originally aired if you just missed that one episode that we just watched it, it, it was vital absolutely vital thank god for streaming services where you can just uh watch them all back to back now right um i will be back with episode 17 to see what the hell happens next with that now we've had that kind of flashback which has brought it full circle for us as to what the hell's going on going on with Root and him now and them heading to Colombia and whatever else happens with our team and I knew the other shooter before it even took a thing a hold off I knew it was sure but at the end of the day they were following orders they they are trying to kill us oh. they're just now in Howell's employ and far better where they are than where they were because the one thing Howell's not going to do to you is lie to you in that manner where you are you're just a tool for them to dispatch when they need something taken care of or something to disappear or someone to disappear bastards right okay then if you want to watch this in full length check the link in the description guys and you can go watch it over there on patreon in full length and if you've not already subscribed to the channel i would very much appreciate it if you give the video a quick thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to hit that sub button because we've got plenty more of this to go yet um and i will be back for episode 17 next take care Don't.